good YouTube, it's your boy Godsane317 here. But today we're going to not play a game. We're going to be looking at some statistical facts about the war going on. We already know about World War III right now, don't we? PewDiePie vs. T-Series. Now we're looking at Social Blade, which is showing what's happening, how fast they're growing, how many uploads, stuff like that. So Social Blade ranks T-Series number one and PewDiePie 33rd. Yeah, that sucks. Don't get why, except for that they get an insane amount of views, so I guess that's why. Views rank first, of course, T-Series, eighth is PewDiePie. Subscriber rank, PewDiePie's third, T-Series fourth, because you have the two YouTube channels, like music and gaming. Third. So, yeah, this is how much they make a year, in a month, if they have ads. Of course, T-Series doesn't use ads, so... You can just block off T-Series, they make no money off YouTube. Which is a good thing for us that love PewDiePie because that means that corporations won't really take over because they don't use ads. That's, that's all that matters is ads. That's the only way YouTube makes money is off ads. And T-Series hasn't put one single ad on any of their videos, meaning they make no money at all. So, this is a lie because they also don't sponsor, they don't have merch, they have no way of making money. Now, PewDiePie, on the other hand, that's around correct. That would mean that's around correct. Which is good for us. That's good for us. And YouTube. Because that means YouTube will still look at him as the person making their money. So, now looking at their uploads, let's look at that. As you see, the reason views on T-Series is so much higher than PewDiePie is because they have 13,000 uploads. while well, he has less than 4,000. So, of course it's going to be like that. That's not even really a competition. That's an insane amount of uploads. All right. Let's go down to daily subscribers and daily views. As you can see, PewDiePie at the moment is winning in views. This does not include audits, so do not think, oh, but T-Series is lowering the gap. But that's because audits is more in their favor at the moment. But not including audits, PewDiePie is still winning in daily subscribers. Daily views, well, that's not even a competition. Let's be honest, that was never a competition. Now looking at future subscribers. They still have PewDiePie on top since he's technically growing faster not including audits. They think in five years he will have 453 million and T-Series will have 400 million. I don't really see that happening because that's insane. I don't think that many people are ever going to be on YouTube. But that's the chart for how it looks. That's pretty neat because PewDiePie is going to win. Of course, audits aren't in his favor and it could change. So you can't really look at this. This is if they keep growing the same way they are, not including audits. Audits, if you don't know, are... um. Subscriber counts that YouTube gives or takes away. So let's say that he has, someone has 30,000 um, accounts that just added. They're going to take those away and see if they're real. If they're real, they'll give them back. If they're not, they're going to keep them. That's how it works. So losing subs like that. So that's how, how it is nowadays. That's what audits are. So if people are losing subscribers, don't, those aren't particularly uh, sub bots. Those could be inactive accounts. They could be anything like that. Of course, both channels have an insane amount of inactive accounts. So... I don't get how they're still sitting up here with them only getting an average of 14 million views and 89 million views. Of course, T-Series posts like five, six videos a day, and they already have 13,000. But if you take a look at that, that would mean that they get an average of 10, 15 million views a video, same as PewDiePie, and they have around 80 million subscribers almost. So aren't there really a, way more inactive subs than there are active ones? Shouldn't they be down here? But no, YouTube doesn't look at those, I guess. They do do inactive subscribers, but I don't get why they're not doing it on them. They do it sometimes, but I guess they don't have big enough audits to take all that away. That's my only guess. Now we're going to look at views because we already know what dominates in views, sadly. That's just sad. So this is how views looked a while ago. As you can see, PewDiePie was above way back in January this year. Well, no, that was last year. Wow, I didn't even know that. And then they went flying. Yeah, they basically dominate in views. Let's not even let's not even look at that. <laughs> this is their daily views. Not really a question. And this is what they think is going to happen. I'm gonna be honest. That's better than what I thought was going to happen. Like that's insane. But I did not think PewDiePie could, is really going to hold his own in views. Views is just an insane. So, I really got to give views to T-Series, sadly. Subs, it's either way at the moment. But views, it's pretty clear who wins. 
So if you guys don't know what this site is, it's called Social Blade. It has like all YouTubers. There's even subscriber counts if you want to go to their channel. So let's go look at PewDiePie's subscriber count live. This is how most people um put out those live videos. They go and they compare people. On oh, not compare. My bad. You go to... Where is it? Uh, uh, there it is. I don't know why I didn't see that. And then you can basically just look at the live subscriber count. <laughs> Alright. Social Blade does take a couple seconds to load things up in the beginning, but then it just starts going. It's not that entertaining looking at a subscriber count without the comparisons. So, yeah, that's really all there is for this video. In the end, it could go any way this war. It looking, it's looking better on T-Series side, but at the same time, YouTube's backing PewDiePie up, so there's a big chance he can still pull out the victory. So, I'll see you guys next time with probably another gaming video of PUBG on mobile. So, see you guys. Peace out. See you next time.